Hey guys, it's the Chad, and today I want to talk to you about buying new or used trailers. Most of us would love to go to the store and buy a shiny new trailer, but we can't. Either we can't afford one, or two, you're cheap like me, and you just can't justify spending that money. If your option is buying used, make sure you watch this whole video and follow my tips to ensure that you don't buy a stolen trailer. Buying used can save you hundreds if not thousands of dollars, but a couple months down the road if the police come and seize your trailer, you've lost it, you're out your money, and you've got legal problems. So I've got several tips to help you save time, money, and most importantly, to keep you safe when you go out and buy these used trailers. So many of us that are looking for a used trailer are going to turn to Craigslist or Marketplace looking for that sweet deal. And that's what I did when it was time for me to buy this 5x8 utility trailer. But before I meet some dude at 10 p.m. on a Tuesday night at a Denny's with 700 bucks in my pocket, which obviously I didn't do, I did my research. And hopefully after watching this video, you guys do yours too. If a deal sounds too good to be true, well, it probably is. Here are some warning signs to pay attention to when you're buying that used trailer. So number one should be the price. Once you find that good used trailer, do a quick Google search of the year and make and see what one of them costs brand new. If somebody's asking $400 for a $2,000 trailer in like new condition, yeah, that's a red flag. I'm not saying that it means it's specifically stolen, but that should lead you to follow up questions. So number two is to ask questions. If somebody has a poor description, ask them the year, the make, the dimensions. If they can't provide you that basic information, well, that's another red flag. Number three, ask for a picture of the VIN number, title, bill of sale, MSO, if this is a stolen trailer, this is where communication will end. They'll just ghost you. And number four, I definitely question trailers that are photographed at nighttime in the rain, the snow, or something that's posted at 3 a.m. Not to say that the seller's not an early riser, but they're probably not. If you do decide to take a look at this trailer in person and you have some warning signs, why don't you go ask a buddy to go with you and ask the seller to meet you in a public place. If they won't, well, don't say I didn't warn you. Last thing I want to see you do is get robbed. Now, if they do agree to meet you in a public place, the first thing I'd look for would be the vehicle identification number. Now, that's generally going to be on the driver's side of the trailer. It'll either be up on the front neck or tongue or on the side of the trailer itself. Now, the VIN number can either be stamped, engraved on an actual VIN plate, a VIN sticker, or some type of warranty label. Now, if the seller has some type of paperwork, I would verify that the VIN number on the side of the trailer matches their paperwork. But in a lot of states, if a trailer doesn't meet a certain threshold of weight, you won't be required to have a title, registration, or even a bill of sale. Now that you're taking a closer look at the trailer, if you can't find the VIN number or a VIN sticker, well, red flag. If you go through and notice damage to the trailer tongue or that the safety chains have been cut, well, yeah, red flag. If you go through and see rivets or rivet holes but no VIN plate, again, that's a big red flag. But probably the most obvious would be if you see any kind of grind marks where a VIN number used to be, well, just find any reason to get the heck out of there. There's no reason why a VIN number should be ground off the trailer or the VIN sticker completely removed. I do understand that Mother Nature is going to weather these decals, but they still should be on there. If you have no way to identify the trailer that you're looking at, or you've got several red flags, it's just time to get up and walk away. You don't want to find yourself with legal issues down the road just to save a couple hundred bucks. To me, it's definitely worth spending the extra money to make sure I'm buying a trailer that has the correct paperwork, good VIN numbers, or some proof of legitimacy. So let's say you did buy a used trailer already and there were some warning signs, but you have no idea if it's stolen or not. What should you do? Well, you can call the local police department or a non-emergency number and have them check the VIN number for you. Now, it would be unfortunate if it was stolen because you'd lose the trailer and the money you paid for it, but you'd be doing the right thing by getting it back to the previous owner. Now, one thing I would do or highly recommend if you buy it off Craigslist or Marketplace, screenshot who the seller was and what address you picked it up from. That way, you can always prove that you didn't steal the trailer and the police know where to begin their investigation. If you guys know of any other warning signs to look for when buying used trailers, type them down in the little clickety clack. While you're there, smash the like button and subscribe. That way I can keep making more videos like this for you for free. So stick around for part two of my trailer series. Next time we'll be talking about ways to prevent your trailer from being stolen, how to stamp them or mark them. That way you have the opportunity to get it back in case it ever is.
I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.